Hello everybody, welcome back. It's really cold now. So I'm actually going to the grocery store at 9am because I don't have bread. I don't have breakfast. <laughs> this episode will feature the Viking exhibition which I'm really excited for. So now I know what it's like to be a Viking. Sign me up. Oh, my room is such a mess. And you know what they say? The state of your room reflects the state of your mind. So yeah, that says it all. But on the bright side, I have actually recorded two songs on the piano. So that's really good because things have been really slow and I didn't have much inspiration. So these two songs will come out in the next following album, which will come out in the near future. And if you haven't checked it out, Ethereal has all been released. Really glad about that. And tonight, I'm actually going to watch Pacific Rim 2. Pacific 1 was okay, and sequels are usually bad. They never turn out well. We'll see how it goes. We are here at Emporium. So now I'm here at this shop called Kalia because I'm supposed to book a reservation for my friends first. And yeah, we couldn't get a table, it takes forever, like one hour, two hours. So in the meantime, I'm looking across all the groceries which is because I have a grocer next to the restaurant. Pretty cool, right? And we have really interesting stuff here. A Japanese shop where everything is imported and they have their own local tea. This is so interesting. Lavender water with amethyst crystal. Or even this one, rose water. But this is really interesting. You're drinking crystals, y'all. Again, what are you eating? I don't know how you call it. You don't know? You don't know. It's an ox tongue. Yeah, it's an ox tongue. <laughs> <laughs> this is an ox tongue, everyone. <laughs> yes. It's yummy! It's, I want to see how good it is now. Must, must show them your face, okay? Your face like, mm, like satisfied. This is so long! <laughs> I don't think I can finish it. It's good, it's good. It's good? I don't know the tongue tastes good. I think I need more chili. Alright, Suki, what do you think about Pacific Rim? It's not bad. I like it. Very funny. It was so good. Better than Black Panther. <laughs> you haven't watched it, right? I haven't watched it, I haven't watched it, but this one's good. Really good. How about you, Bill? What do you think? Good. Good? Oh, good, man. My ears just want to explode. Yeah. It's so loud. But really good. You can see the crowd. Mm. It has been raining the whole day. So this is perfect for what y'all came here for, the Viking exhibition. So I'm really excited for this exhibition because it's only a 4 day event held right here in Melbourne Museum. With over 450 artifacts flown in from the Swedish History Museum. And you know it's going to tell us about the real life of a Viking. Which is quite interesting because you know we always think of Vikings as like Thor. But in reality they are not like that. So. We will uncover the truth behind the Scandinavian Vikings. Let's go! We're finally here at the Melbourne Museum and it took a while to get here because the Grand Prix disrupted all the public transport and the fact that it's raining makes it even worse. But no matter, we are here. It looks like a nomad. But it looks very comfy now. And it looks so comfortable. <laughs> I'll wear that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a cauldron they use for cooking. Look how ancient it looks. Can you imagine cooking in this? Yes. Curries. Mm. Curry? Yeah. <laughs> you wanna cook curry in this? Yeah. <laughs> and like, 
No. I don't think they'll eat curry with rice in this thing. <laughs> so in the olden times, they all made bread. And here is a recipe to make your own Viking bread. Right, so we are here at the museum. So mm -hmm. what do you think? Of the Very exhibitions interesting so and I uh, have a lot to get to read, like a lot of things to read but I don't, not really interested in some stuff, <laughs> just some stuff. Most of them of are actually relics or like artifacts, yeah. like uh, little pieces like Thor's hammer pendants. That's a lot of them like... Brooches, too many artifacts. Yeah. And all of them kind of look very similar to each other. Yeah. But it's kind of interesting, you know, to see the life of mm -hmm. people in the Viking era. Yeah. Would you want to be a Viking? Yes. <laughs> you want to be a Viking? <laughs> yes. We we'll continue looking around. Yeah. So next to me is actually the shape of the boat, but it's actually hung by strings with rivets. So basically, you can actually see where a nail will poke into the boat and hold it in place. And it's really cool because you know, you're seeing the boat as an invincible skeleton. So over here, we're looking at national treasures that Vikings used to use, like gold bracelets. You see, they can tell that you're rich when you have gold or silver bracelets. One myth that we think about Vikings is they used to have horn helmets, but it's actually not true. It's a myth, it's not real. They don't wear horn helmets. <laughs> it's just a made up story. Are you sad? Yes. Did, you, did you think they actually wore like spiky yes. helmets with horns? They yes. don't. <laughs> it was just a made up fable. Oh no! <laughs> it ruins my uh, imagination of Vikings. Oh. <laughs> Yep, that's the end of our exhibition, so I really thought it was just fine. For that $22 I paid, I expected something more extravagant, like an actual war-sized boat. Where's my boat? It wasn't all that bad, you know? You actually could find real artifacts from those times in glass shelves. A pendant of Thor's hammer, which I thought was going to be this one, but it was actually this thing. And also a golden brooch, which I thought was a fidget spinner. Looks like they were ahead of their time. Will I go again? I don't think so. I am looking forward for more exhibitions to come. And also, if you go through the merchandise area, you can pick up a helmet for you to channel your inner Viking at home. Which I didn't, so... No Viking for me. Right, so we have just finished the Viking exhibition and now we're walking through the Melbourne Museum itself because there are other things going on and where are we? We're actually in a forest. Yes, look at that. And we just saw some lizards walking and like wandering around and got scared. Yeah, there's literally a forest inside the museum. Yeah. It's so pretty. Look at it. So we just finished going to Melbourne Museum and seeing the Viking exhibition, mm -hmm. which... You will see it soon. <laughs> it was raining just now. <laughs> Look at it now, it's so hot. Like, when they say Melbourne was fall season one day, they literally mean fall season one day. It's been two hours, I guess. Oh yeah. It's a perfect. <laughs> Alright, it's chocolate time. We're at Coco Black. We have Black Frost Gatu. Chocolate hazelnut got two, ice chocolate, and it's her birthday. <laughs> oh, it's a chocolate time and we're at Coco Black, where all your chocolate dreams come true. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> Everything here is so good. The chocolate fantasy is uh, coming true. I really want to Okay, we have something very rare that Mel brought back from Brunei. Look at this, Brunei dollars. That's one dollar. One dollar? Ten Brunei dollars. Trade with uh, Singapore dollars as well. So if you're eating in a cafe, they'll actually refund you like the rest of like the change with Singapore dollar. Just so they use Singapore dollars in Brunei? Yes, like very common. Oh, that's it's everywhere, it's everywhere. And we're waiting for the train, but yeah. Mel, what have you bought? <laughs> You bought it for your birthday? Yes, and I got a craft up controller so that we can play with four people, four players to play games. So I will download a game right now so I can we can play the games later. How much do you buy this? You literally just bought it, right? Like five minutes ago. Okay, I was never into Nintendo Switch. I used to have a Nintendo DS, but then well, I didn't first, play anymore. It's, um, Super Mario or Mario. Oh, okay. The only thing I would buy a Nintendo DS for is for Pokemon. Pokemon! <laughs> Pokemon! <laughs> 
Sorry, I'm trying. I'm trying. Dirty plate. Dirty plate. Bring the chopped onion. Bring the chopped onion. Okay. The other side. Cap is all overflow. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. 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 Christmas came early this year. I was meaning to buy a face cream from this brand Akin and look what it came with. A giant golden snitch y'all. It says here this is a reusable hanging decoration. Looks like I have one last thing to buy this year for Christmas. Voila! Here is the product. The Moisturizer Day Cream. Which I've been meaning to buy because it was on sale and it usually costs $40 but now with this set it's only $15. Yep. It smells expensive. So I'll review this product in the description below because this video is getting way too long. And we'll see how it goes. Whee. So do leave a thumbs up and a subscribe if you like this video or don't. I will continue having more adventures here, especially since Good Friday and Easter Sunday is coming up, which is a public holiday here in Melbourne. More adventures, more fun. I'll catch y'all next time.